Hello everyone. Hope you all are fine today. Now I am going to discuss one of the hottest topic ever that is the face mask. You may have heard a lot recently about using face mask to prevent infection. I have been researching about face mask non-stop and I have collected as much as information as I can about their effectiveness. There are some vital things that I want to share with you today. So, are face mask effective and if so, when should you wear them? With this pandemic panic in full swing, surgical and N95 masks are flying off the shelves. But do they actually make difference in protecting you against viruses? Well, first let us explore about the homemade cloth face mask. Cloth face mask can be made at home from common materials. So, there are unlimited supply and it can be washed. But they have a higher risk among people with symptoms transmitting the virus through speaking, coughing or sneezing. So, they are very less protective. Overall, they are better to be used than not using any other mask or offer very less protection by stopping the entry of bigger sized particles alone in the air. Next comes the surgical face mask. Surgical masks are disposable, loose-fitting face masks. Basically, they are made up of cheap latex materials and secure on your face using elastic strips. None of these masks are airtight. That means there is a higher chance of airborne pathogens to sneak in through the sides of the mask. The best possible way of protection by this mask is just a physical barrier between the wearer and surrounding. It thus allows all the microbes, bacteria and air to loosely enter to your nose. So this is not going to work out in protecting you against viruses. Most of the people do mistakenly reuse these masks, which can increase the virus contamination and spread. It is a single time use and throw face mask and must be thrown out safely within 4 to 6 hours after usage. Now coming on to N95 respiratory masks. These are government certified disposable respirator masks that blocks 95% of the small airborne pathogens up to 0.3 microns or 300 nanometers. They are made up of high quality activated carbon layer and polypropylene filters. It has a sturdy strong straps and M nose bridges which fits tightly into your nose and there is an exhalation valve too. But breathing becomes difficult due to the tight sealing and it cannot be washed again. Generally, it is not advisable to reuse this N95 face mask, but it can be used twice or thrice and not beyond that. There is another popular mask called FFP mask, filtering face piece mask, which has the filter capacity of 80% and cannot be reused more than twice. Do you know? Research a study upon N99, N100, FFP, P2, FFP, P3 masks that almost block all the airborne pathogens 100%. For more discussion and details on the subject of respirator filtration process, you must study the mechanisms and Brownian motion concepts. Later in another video, let's know about it. Now you might have known about the availability of masks, their usage and lifetime. Is there any mask better than these N95 and FFP? Watch my upcoming video to know about this. Stay tuned, like and share, subscribe our channel. Bye.